Hi guys, Brown Skin CC here. Thanks for tuning in. If you are new here, welcome. Please hit the subscribe button. And if you are a subscriber, thanks for coming back. Now, before we start this video, I want to thank each and every one of you guys because our channel has reached 200 subscribers and I am very grateful for you guys. Today, I'm coming to you with a get ready with me. This makeup look and this hair right here. If you want to see how I achieve this look, keep on watching. Today I'm coming to you with a simple hair look on wet hair or damp hair. My hair is freshly washed. I'm going to use this Shea Moisture Bread Up Conditioning Gel just to give my hair a little bit of um, slip. And then I'm going to use Eco Styler Gel to give it some type of hold and at the edges i'm going to use the got to be uh, glue just to make it really stick so let's see how that goes i've never tried this combination before i'm just still trying this product so let's go ahead i'm going to work into smaller sections just so that we have a really smooth canvas to work with this is very watery in consistency I'm gonna go ahead and wrap my hair for now and I'll be right back hi guys so my face is already freshly washed and moisturized I'm gonna go ahead and use my primer I'm going to be using the cover effects blurring primer I'm just going to put a little bit now I'm gonna go ahead and use the Anastasia Beverly Hills liquid glow it's a liquid glow I'm gonna go ahead and put it all over my face to give my face a glowy finish for foundation I'm going to be using the makeup forever stick foundation my color here is 180. I'm going to try out these new real technique sponges. I got them from TJ Maxx for $5.99. You they just have this round shape. Look, never seen this before. So I decided to give them a try. Yeah, I'm gonna use the big one to blend my foundation. So it's now damp. It's kinda hard, you guys. It doesn't feel like the orange real technique brush. 
it's a bit stiff in my opinion but I'm going to make it work I feel like it's absorbing the product instead I don't know if this is worth it I feel like I'm getting cramps I don't find this very practical that's just my personal opinion I have to like squeeze it really hard for it not to fall for concealer, I'm going to use this Makeup Forever Concealer Palette. I'm going to use the light color to highlight my face. And I'm going to use the darker color to contour. Guys, now I'm going to blend my concealer out. I'm going to use my Beauty Blender to get in here and blend it out. I'm going to go ahead and blend the darker concealer as well. I'm going to use my foundation brush again and then blend in between. To set my concealer, I'm going to go ahead and use my Laura Mercier uh, Translucent Powder in Medium Deep. I'm just trying to even out the powder on my hand before I put it on my face. So. To set the darker concealer, I'm going to use this dark brown, deep brown uh, eyeshadow. As I'm just putting a little bit. Yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and set that powder. I'm using my Kat Von D Lock It Setting Spray. Now for my eyes, I'm gonna start by brushing my brows. And I'm going to use a brown gel liner to fill them out. Now to clean up my brows, I'm going to use my Prolong Wear Concealer in NW45. Actually, I'm using the NW40. I'm gonna prime my eyes with my Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer. The primer portion. I'm going to use a little bit of powder to set that. I'm going to use my BH Cosmetic Palette. I'm going to use this brown shade as a transition color. Now I'm going to move to this palette right here from Tarte. I'm going to use this dark brown shade as well on the outer V. Guys, so I'm using my concealer again to add to my lid just so that my lid color will pop a little bit more. I'm going to use this color right here on my lid. So I'm just blending that a little bit. Because now I'm just going to use this beige color and put that on my brow bone. Hi guys, so I went ahead and added some lashes. I'm just going to go ahead and put some mascara. I'm just going to add some brown eyeshadow to my lower lash line. I'm going to go ahead and add some face powder to make everything look seamless. I'm using my L'Oreal True Match in C9. Add this rosy blush from Manhattan. It's a drugstore brand. You can find it at DM. If you live in Germany, now I'm going to add this sleek highlighter right here. Guys, I'm gonna go for a red lip. I'm gonna use this one from Burberry. 
So now let's see how our hair is looking like. I don't know if it's completely dry, but we are going to manage it the way it's going to come out. Ta -da. It's not completely dry, but that's okay. We are going to move forward anyway. It is mostly dry, but where you see the white spots, it's where it's not completely dry yet. But I'm going to cover that up with some hair extensions. I'm gonna first of all remove this makeup line with some powder. Guys, for the hair, I have two um, pieces of hair, I would say. These are uh, Marley type hair, like natural hair. So I have this small piece here and I attach an elastic band to it. Same here, this is a little bit longer, different color, but that's okay. And yeah, I'm just going to put both pieces on my hair, like this. Let's show you. This. So I'll have one piece on this side, other piece. And voila. So I'm just going to try and cover this little bit with this side. Just pay attention. I'm just going to do something like this. And Over here. I am not making it too too tight. Trying to see if I am okay with the bun. Not sure. Something like this, you know. I'm just trying to have some type of a bun up here. And now from this piece right here, I'm just going to take a little bit and wrap it around the other one, around my bun. And the first piece. I don't know if it's okay, but I'm going to adjust this as much as I can. Divide this and braid it. I mean, two strand twist it like this. And then I am going to take this and secure it somewhere on the bun. And this one, I'm just going to turn it like this and secure it like so you see like, again it's like this I'm just going to turn it and secure it like this and that's it for this hairstyle so and I'm just going to adjust the bun and everything to make sure everything is like straight, you know. So, so I'm gonna fix this bun off camera because I can't see really well. I'm gonna try and fix the bun and secure this a little bit more and I'll be right back guys. The principle is just to make a nice bun and then twist this and that's it. 
so I'll be right back so guys I'm gonna go ahead and accessorize this I have a few pins here that I'm just going to stick in there just to give my hair a little bit of cosé So guys, this is how I achieved the hair and the makeup. I hope you like it. I definitely enjoyed filming this for you guys. And if you enjoyed the video, please give me a thumbs up, comment, like, and share. Let me know if you like this type of content and let me know what you would love to see from me. And I will try as much as I can to accommodate you guys. If you are not following me on Instagram, I would love for you to join the family as well. I also have a little bit of content there. If you are still watching up until now, why don't you go ahead and watch some more videos? I will really appreciate you staying. I really appreciate you watching. Till next video. Bye guys.